I had someone that lost her husband. She remarried many years after. And she said, Debbie, I have this check account. I need the numbers to this checking account. Like, she, he left her with nothing because it was kind of like a I scandal. I remember the story. Yeah, it's deep, girl. It goes deep. But she had the faith in me. She went to Paris, found the locks, the actual key thing that goes in with the bank, and you lock it up, and she found over a million dollars. And we are back on What They Don't Tell Us with two amazing guests, JC Camarillo and Debbie Romero, two amazing intuitive souls. Guys, thank you for coming. Uh, let's first start with how do you two know each other? Oh my gosh. So JC came to me um, just from a friend and we had the opportunity to connect, not realizing that he was intuitive and our fr friendship just continued to grow after that. And yeah. I remember I called her because I was looking for a reading mm -hmm. and I was going through really hard times and I got referred to her by one of my friends and she um, blew me away with her reading, honestly. Like she told me things that I was like, wow, I've heard of readings, but I didn't know it was like that deep. Yeah. And uh, when I met her, I had already bought a tarot deck, but it was yeah. just sitting in my drawer. Right. And she told me, she's like, I feel like you're going to be doing readings. And I'm like... I have a deck that I'd never used before. I just was drawn to get it. What? So, um, what do you call? Are you, so is she like a psychic or an intuitive? And okay. can you explain that? Yeah, a more? thank you for asking. I'm an evidential medium, which means that I bring forward evidence in a way that you would understand. So, when I'm connecting, it's my soul to the soul of your loved one on the other side. So I connect your loved ones on the other side. But as an addition, I'm also that psychic where we connect to the present moment okay. in the now so it depends on what you're looking for and I just ho simply hold space and let spirit come in and it's just a very healing process that happens that unfolds for the person when I'm present for them. Wow and so you know how you were able to tell that he was an intuitive person mm -hmm. can anybody tap into that or? You know I believe that everybody has their perception and their own sensory skills and I believe mm -hmm. it's a matter of like working that muscle so if you're like one to be in the gym and you're working yeah. out and you're like oh I'm awesome I got this right yeah it's the same vibe when you're going to go into it intuitively how are you going to put in the energy to expand and to evolve and to grow in that area so we all are born with senses so yes anyone can have those sensories open it's just up to you to okay. feed that soul wow you know what i can like kind of connect it to is like when you watch like a superhero movie like even though there's a superhero they have a certain power yeah they still have to train right they yeah. still have to train for right that power. like the x-men so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, like they have the school and they teach them how to yeah. use their power so i feel like debbie said like i feel like we all have the gift yeah. it's just a matter of exercising and maybe some of us are more um like clairvoyant or like hearing or emotional or like there's different things that we're stronger on like mediumship is her strength my strength is psychic and like I'm sure we can both you know do both but it's just about what you develop more I guess it's uh -huh. my um, perspective wow that, that you guys articulated it so well that's so awesome <laughs> <laughs> like what are some of the I have to ask like what are some of the craziest experiences you guys have had um with your um intuitiveness or maybe with a client yeah. or um yeah. And, yeah I have a really really cool story and Really, it's about faith, right? Mm -hmm. So it's really about faith. I had someone that lost her husband. She remarried many years after. She went through grief. You know, I saw imageries of her trying to, like, putting her life back together, right? And she said, Debbie, I have this check account. I need the numbers to this checking account. Like, she, he left her with nothing because it was kind of like a I scandal. I remember the story. Yeah, it's deep, girl. It goes deep. And what's beautiful is that when spirit comes in, there's this angelic feeling, like, be careful. Like, you know, are you sure you want to open that door? And it's then his soul comes in. And I was taken to, like, Paris, and I was given the banking info and, like, the bank. Oh, And okay. she's like, girl, let's go to Paris. I'm like, I don't know. Wait. Like, how am I going to go to Paris? Like, right? <laughs> but she had the faith in me she went to Paris found the locks the actual key thing that goes in with the bank and you lock it up and she found over a million dollars 
and that her, oh that her my deceased God. husband that her had deceased left. husband had left. Yeah. So that's like faith. People oh, are gonna whoa. be calling you asking you for I lottery know. numbers now. <laughs> I, we need to lock some things here no. with me. Yeah, yeah. But like, isn't that so like, that's the faith and the beauty of like the trust that they have in spirit. Like, I truly <sighs> believe that this is spirit talking to me. This, I truly believe that this is a message that I receive that resonates yeah, for her, you right? Your intuition. That's like, boom, right there. You're that's connected. it. For me, wow. I've, mine's not as, my story's not as fun as Debbie's, but it is very interesting and shocking. Yeah. And it actually just happened last year after practicing for a little bit of time mm -hmm. um what somebody that i knew um from when i was younger wanted a reading i went to her house i did a reading um her dad-in-law was sick with cancer and i unfortunately oh got the download that he would only live six months and how do you tell somebody that unless they're very truly open to knowing the genuine right. download and the truth. Right. And she was, she was open. It was her dad-in-law, but she's a very strong person. So she knew like, I just want to know the truth. Right. Mm -hmm. And I said, I got a six month time frame. I don't want to tell you specifically that he's going to pass in six months because there was a couple of things coming up for her. She wants a new home. She wants to get engaged. But then the, 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 the dad-in-law was sick. So I said, I am connecting a little more to him, but it could be that maybe you're gonna get engaged in six months because there's three things on the table that you're really interested in. One week before the six month mark, he passed. Oh my goodness. One week, so at the six month. How did she cope with that or what she was, was She honestly, I was scared to answer her phone call. I didn't answer, she texted me because I felt it and she texted me. When I read her message, I felt her to be calm about it. So then I answered her call after, and she said, I just still can't believe that you have this gift. And I said, please don't tell anybody about this reading that we know, because I don't want to be seen. I wouldn't want to be looked at as Bruno from, you know, oh you know, you know, from, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be the guy with the bad news that nobody wants to talk to because what if, you know, so there's, there's, um, there's definitely knowing who's ready for some certain yeah. news and what should just be left to be unfold. And this is, I told Debbie about that experience. I remember I called you, you did. and I was like, she was like, she told me, she said, mijo, you have to be careful with that information. Sometimes if you're sure that they're ready, then go ahead and tell them. But sometimes you have to let things unfold. And I was like, yeah. So that was my craziest experience. Um, since talking about that, since um, the, like you can experience that experience and like like dive into that. Like, do you do you, do you guys know like what happens when like the souls leave and go into the next realm? Mm, I can answer that one. Yeah. So I have experienced, I was actually doing a reading, and when we're open, there is so much happening behind the scenes than just the reading. So like if we're sitting here and talking, and you're saying, you know what, Debbie, I want a reading with you. Mm -hmm. um, I just experienced not too long ago where someone very close to my family, my um, children's family, where someone got sick. And I was seeing the visions of their life kind of flashing, like the memories. And I was like, okay. I called um, someone that I knew and I said, okay, what's going on? What's happening? And they're like, yeah, mom, they're in the hospital. This is what happened. And they're not, they're not okay. So as I was open in the reading, I was able to watch that memory of her, um, just the love that she had for her family. I got to watch the, the different timelines that one experiences in this living world. So it does, you are, depending on the level of your perception and your training and how open you are with spirit, they're gonna show us what we're ready for. And there's so much order and so much intelligence in trusting that when, that, when you're in that, you're like, wow, oh my gosh. So it's just really holding space for that person. Wow. Mm -hmm. It gets oh deep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how like how do you guys communicate and like receive messages from like 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 I guess in the spiritual realm? 
Yeah, so if I connect to a loved one on the other side, it's like I simply just bring my awareness to spirit world. And so like if I were to come connect and anyone who's open spirit so intelligent, they, need, they do know who needs to come in. So it's like either we'll feel the vibration, we'll kind of get the senses, we'll see in our mind's eye, we'll hear, we'll feel. Our physical body is the compass. So our body, when we're getting unusual feelings, sensations, mm. our gut, like our gut is our main power. So it's yeah. like, you just know, right? It's like, man, I know I'm not going to go that way because there's traffic. So spirit is with you. So they're communicating with you. And if you have that deep connection with someone that you know, that's on the other side, you've already had that bond where they're going to be like, girl, don't go that way. So it's really trusting what you're feeling that's what and I was honoring yeah. yourself yeah. in the moment. So it's really trusting like, Hey, this is not just me. This is spirit talking to me. For me, I feel yeah. like, um, Trusting, like Debbie said, is like my my thing of like what that was the hardest part of like saying I have this feeling I shouldn't do this or I should do this. But then trusting that feeling and going through with it is what I think most of us battle because like sometimes maybe you're in a bad relationship and you're like, I should leave this guy. But like, no, we're going to try one more time. But it's like your inner self is telling mm -hmm. you. I don't know why this is coming up. Maybe mm -hmm. I'm already reading you or your energy. Oh, but my this God. Is no, he I did work. it. Huh? <laughs> So I'm sorry, it gets real and it gets very raw with me when yeah. it comes to spiritual He's really talk. on flight, yeah. And, um, and so my, my intuition is that, right? And for me, like Debbie said, the mind's eye is how I connect mediumistically. Is like I can see the idea of what someone looks like. And recently I started working with a gatekeeper I told Debbie about. Oh, yeah. Because I was getting overwhelmed when I was doing mediumship. There's so many souls trying to like pull and saying, I want my message to come across. I want my message. And I'm just like, you have to put your foot down and you have to say like, I'm going to decide who I want to work with. Mm. And like, so when I was getting overwhelmed, I realized I had a gatekeeper, which was my grandmother and my two grandfathers who have passed. They allow people to come through that I want to connect and then then I say, this is who I have. So it's, mm -hmm. um, it gets a little complicated for the, for like somebody who doesn't practice, mm -hmm. but it's like the idea of, um, seeing somebody, but not fit. Like you don't physically see someone standing yes, there. You know, people you. get scared cause they think like, Oh my God, you're seeing things are mm -hmm. going crazy. You're not physically seeing like a person. Mm -hmm. Some people might have those experiences. For me, it's the idea of who I'm seeing if that makes any sense. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to put you on the spot, by the way. I'm yeah. so sorry. No, it's okay. You're good. You're yeah. good. Now I'm going to have to call you both, <laughs> on a, but on a camera. <laughs> no, that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. So I think we got to the segment where we do a tarot card reading. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. So he does tarot and I channel. So I okay. get information and I channel. And okay. I also have a deck where it's talking to a loved one on the other side. So oh, this is okay. a very simple deck that anyone can get. It's talking to the heavens and it just lets you start building the relationship to connect to your loved one on the other side for you um, and your own personal journey. Okay. Oh, well, whoever wants to start. Who are we doing the reading on? Yeah, who's the person that's going to be? Ah, uh, me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So Jay will start and then I'll tap in after. So he does the, right. the cards and I just kind of let spirit flow. Is that okay? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, thank you. Okay. So um, I was barely shuffling here mm -hmm. and when I was shuffling slowly, mm -hmm. usually I wait for a card to fall. I'll still take this one. I don't okay. know what it is. But this one flipped in reverse within the deck. So I know that this is for you because this card talks about, it's the Ace of Cups. It talks about security and a helping hand. And I feel like, but what I feel for you is that you have a hard time accepting help. And this card is telling you to, to be okay, whether it's help from someone on the other side for guidance and even people who are around you who say like hey like I have this opportunity and you're kind of just like oh, I don't want them to throw in my face later on so if this is what you usually work work as this card is saying like what I always tell people when it comes to someone allowing someone to do a favor for you is saying humans the only way we can deliver our blessings is through another human if I have an opportunity I'm gonna give it to her if she has an opportunity she's gonna give it to me so if we reject someone from helping us we're cutting the flow of the blessing mm -hmm. flow. Yeah. You have to allow the blessing to be given to you from another human being. A pole can give you a blessing. A table can give you a blessing. So we have to understand that we have to help each other as humans. And it's okay to let someone help you. It doesn't mean you owe them anything. Mm -hmm. Because the blessing comes from above. Mm -hmm. But it just has to be delivered through a mailman, which is a human being. Okay? But the other card that I got for you 
It's the Two of Cups. And as you can tell, there's a couple here. Mm -hmm. And I had just read you on love. Aww. You know, like, you know, so this card talks about peace of mind and joining of two people. So it feels like, yeah, it feels like maybe there's, there's been some not so fun times in the romantic life for you. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of us have gone through that. Mm -hmm. But for this card to come in saying peace of mind, joining, it's like you're getting close to that place where you want to be with someone. Whether you're already in a relationship and it's been rocking, you're just like, is this ever going to be solid? Or if you're single and you're looking for something and you're just like someone that is good for me right so you're getting to that place where union is going to be a little more stable for you because it hasn't been stable in the oh, in the wow. last two to three years yes. is that correct this is so on point it's crazy yeah that's all i have for y'all let debbie read yeah. i don't want to yeah. take well, up the no, whole thing because he's Th like right thank on you point. jc by the way thank you're you welcome, yeah girl. thank you that was an honor thank yeah. you so much i definitely f i want to just come in on that a little bit and he did an amazing job all I kept seeing for you was a lot of the things that you've already gone through, right? So it's like speaking up. So you have you have these words that you haven't really shared of like not wanting to say the wrong thing. And it's like mm. you have you feel so deeply because I can feel your emotion. When you're excited, girl, you get excited. Because yeah. I'm like, oh, my God, I could see that inner child within you. Like you just get so happy. But the emotion is the same when you're hurt and you're nervous. or you're. So I want to give you the word courage because I feel like the courage is like stepping into your power, the courage to step forward, because I feel like you have a lot of things coming for you, a lot of opportunities, a lot of blessings, and it's like, which one do I take first? It's like you have, write it down, journal it, organize it, because I feel like there's so much freedom and power when you take your power back. There's that makeup, take that power oh. back. And and just be you, right? And just honor your true feelings because I feel like you've been doing things for others and not for you. And so this is about the relationship, right? Um, you're very close to spirit. Spirit definitely works with you. I feel like you're very connected. You're very channeled. Um, you're very healthy eating. I feel like all of, you're doing the right things, right? So it's like you sat there and you said, okay, what's the next thing that I need to do? I've been doing all of this and nothing has happened. Take a seat back. Let it unfold because I feel like your blessings are coming. It's just got to speak up now. Wow, that was insane, you guys. That Can I tell you something that came up when she was reading that? Yeah. Is when she was telling you about um, being afraid of saying the wrong thing. Yeah. What came up for me, I, I seem to specialize in childhood trauma. I seem to always tap into that. Yeah. And what, what came up for me with you is... Um, that growing up, the people that I don't want to give this on anybody, I don't want to say a parent, a brother, a sister, it doesn't matter. What matters is the surrounding people around you were not very gentle with you, not only emotionally, but physically. So you speaking up about yourself or saying something, you were afraid that you'd have a repercussion. And that's how come now in your relationships or the people around you, you're afraid to say you don't like something because you think something bad will come from that. So you've got to heal that. You got to work with colors. Colors are healing, mm -hmm. which is why I created this palette. But we'll talk about that after. Yeah. But you've got to work on knowing. You're okay, babe. Blink, uh, spirit is coming to protect We're you. We're showering you with love. Yeah. I know, I know. This was a truly, oh my God, you guys are amazing. Mm. I'm going to have to tell you guys. I'm sorry if I interrupted you. No, I was done. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys, this was so powerful. We're reaching the end of the show, but to, don't forget to tune in for more and make sure to follow them for their makeup. Yeah, can I show the palette? Ah! Yes, of course. So, okay, this is called Taking My Power Back. We talked about healing and colors, mm. right? So I wanted to come up with a palette that was all about colors, healing, and the names of the shades are empowering. It says, I am aligned. I am in my power. I'm healthy. I am safe. Oh, yeah. I am safe, you said, was your favorite yeah. affirmation. And um, I love so, it. you know, I wanted to join my two worlds, makeup and spirituality. And I love it, you guys. So make sure to follow them. And don't forget to tune in for more. Thank you guys again. Thank, Thank you. you. Debbie and JC. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.